Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to the Bohemian Ballerina. <laughs> Today I am packing to go home because I leave, not tomorrow, but the next day. And it's really, really sad. Um, but, you know, I, I'm excited to go back because I love it so much over there. But, you know, it's always bittersweet because I miss my family a lot. And, yeah. So, today is um, New Year's Eve. And I've never really been like much of a New Year's Eve person just because like I always get kind of anxious towards the new year because you know new year new things I think the thing I don't really like about the new year is that there's like a lot of pressure around it about like changing things drastically I'm gonna bring some skirts even though I might not end up taking them but I'm gonna put them in there for now because I know it's gonna be like freezing cold over in Chicago. Also, I also love this skirt. Love patterned skirts. Um, yeah, so I got this nice jumper for Christmas. It's just great. I really just needed another plain jumper. And yeah, that's going in because it's gonna be very cold. Um, I found some thermals from my brother's ski trip, so I'm gonna steal those. I go back to Chicago, I'm gonna have a lot of one of auditions. Kinda have to be going straight into it, and it's gonna be a little bit stressful probably first week. Um, but you know, I'm gonna be trying to get I'm trying to get ready for that. I'm trying to get my mindset there because in Australia this time is sort of like really relaxed because you don't go to back to school until the end of January. But with America you know, everything's still full swing. This is just like a temporary like, little break. I'm gonna get to Chicago a couple of days before I start classes because um, that means that I can get over the jet lag and I can rest before I have to go full in because trying to do ballet jet lagged is just, it's not fun. So I got this palette for Christmas from my mom and I'm not really a makeup person like at all best i usually do is like my eyebrows and my mascara and i don't put i don't wear foundation or anything because i just really can't be <laughs> be violent to be honest um but my mom got me this palette and the colors are like super pretty so i'm kind of intrigued to play around with them even though i'm not good at makeup and i'm definitely not good at eyeshadow but i am very intrigued about trying some of the colors out because maybe like when I go out for dinner or when I go out somewhere I might put something on I don't know but just look how pretty these colors are like I think I'm just like, really excited about the range of colors and like the amount of colors um, but yeah so maybe this will make me finally want to wear makeup I love makeup and I love watching people do it but I just you know girly stuff has never really really been my thing I think it could be because I've grown up with three brothers. I got these jeans from Sowers because I've never been a jean person, like, ever. I, I've always hated wearing jeans because they're kind of uncomfortable. And I guess, like, in Australia, it's never been that cold to wear jeans. But since going to Chicago, you know, I haven't really had a choice but to become a jean person because it's just cold all the time. Anyway, and these were really cute. Like, they're kind of baggy, but they have all these patches over them and like rips and stuff and I just thought they had character you know also oh and I also got this this really cute denim skirt it's like just a denim skirt but it's got like things on the end and then like little embellishments and it's really cute with like a singlet or something I don't know if I'm gonna bring it because it's kind of summery but I wore this last night to dinner and it was just something cool to throw on because I'm always looking for comfortable things I think the thing is I just like to wear comfortable clothing like, I, I love bohemian clothes. That's probably my style. And I like grunge sort of clothes. And just like, most of the all, I think I just like to wear comfortable clothing. I don't think I'm going to do resolutions or anything. I think I'm just going to have some goals for next year just to, you know, think about. And I've been thinking about these since like the end of this year. So yeah, my main, I've been seeing all this stuff about like sleep just, you know, coming at me like on my Instagram and stuff. 
and I feel like it's a really big message from the universe that I need to be better with my sleep, especially over in Chicago. I think I'm going to make sure that I, you know, get to bed early because then I'm, obviously your belly is going to be better, your eating is going to be better, you're going to crave less, like my body's going to feel healthier. So I think I'm going to make that a, a big priority because it is hard, you know, when the Netflix show is good, you know, when you're hanging with friends, you're watching a movie and it's like late and you don't want to leave. Um, so my second thing I wanted to sort of think about this year is like my water intake and uh, this is always like the topic of everyone's, you know, resolutions and stuff but I'm really bad at drinking water and when I was younger I used to like be at school and I would like forget my water bottle I just not drink and I would be fine except I would get migraines so maybe that was slightly part of the problem my mom got me this water bottle for Christmas it's so cool it's like hippie and it's like it's like aluminium and I'm gonna say it's gonna force me to drink water I've been pretty good the last couple of days he sucks in a god how cool are these socks? How cool. This is one of my favorite shirts as well from Tree of Life, Best Forever. This is also a really pretty top I got from my friend, my family friend Mia. And it's like so cute, something that I really wanted to have that I could just wear with jeans or something just to go out with. One of my um, goals for this year as well was to um, expand my YouTube channel more, maybe do some different types of videos, definitely post more. Um, I'm going to try my best to post as much as I can. Even though I have a really busy schedule over there, My that leads me to my next goal and is that that's to get more organized. I think when I first went to Chicago I was just trying to get my bearings and trying to just like suss out like what um, living there was like you know what the schedule was like but now I think like I run really well on schedules so I think I'm going to schedule my time more just so I'm like using it more efficiently because I really want to sort of just be pretty focused next year and always remember like what my end goal is and then my end goal is to try and get a job doing ballet. So with ballet, it's always kind of scary. Like you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you don't know where you might end up. You don't know really from year to year, I've never really known what's going to happen. I'll just keep working hard and keep my eye sort of on the end goal. Another goal of mine is to always remember how lucky I am. I never really quite realized until I co come home how lucky I am. Like I do realize, but it doesn't take me until I sort of come home and, and you know, be in a different world to realize like how insane it is that I am overseas dancing in America, you know, living in Chicago, doing what I love every day. Like that's just crazy. So I probably done enough blabbing, but that was just some of my goals for 2020. Just for myself, I know everyone has different goals. Of course I have, I'll have different goals for like my ballet and different goals for different things but overall those are some of my goals I think I have more but those are just some of the ones that I want to talk about but if you have any specific goals let me know in the comments like what your goals are for 2020 but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let me know what kind of things you want to see from me because I really want to like expand my channel more and do me little things for you guys. Like if you want me to talk about living overseas. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.